What is going on guys, Bisectatron here, bringing you today's video, and we are talking about the best defensive clan castle troops to put for your base uh, to best defend at each town hall level. Uh, so this is assuming, of course, they don't get hit uh, with the lightning spell earthquake combo and taken out at the very beginning of the attack. So before I even get into my best troop combinations, I recommend, especially at Town Hall 11, 12, and 13, you keep your clan castle away from other defensive buildings and um, you sometimes put it off to the side. Uh, both of those things will ensure that if the attacker decides to use the lightning spells on it to take it out at the beginning of the attack, they won't get nearly as much value if it, as if it's in the center of the base, in this case near a bunch of other defensive buildings. So just. That aside, let's assume that your, your CC is uh, not zap quaked at the beginning and the troops are able to come out and defend your base. What should you use at each of these town hall levels? We'll start at the top, work our way down with some nice background attacks to take a look at as we discuss. Town hall 13, you got to ask yourself, what am I trying to defend against? And the heroes are often the star of the show in a lot of these attacks. Level 75 King and Queen, level 50 Warden, 20 Royal Champion. These are all um, extremely valuable in high damage troops being the levels that they are at Town Hall 13. So the Headhunters are going to be very important uh, for defending Queen Charges, Sui Hero type combinations, defending against the Royal Champion if she tries to get some good value on one side of your base. So I would say you're going to want to have a couple headhunters in your clan castle. Now you also have to worry about um, the possibility of like a spam attack with uh, the witches now becoming a little more popular as you may have seen in my video a few back. Be sure to check that out, my Town Hall 13 witch bowler attack strategy that's been crushing bases. So you got to really be careful uh, with putting in headhunters too much because they're not good at defending the spam attacks. We also see Yeti Smash and Pekka Smash a lot, and I'm sure a lot of you guys see that um, in your uh, Clan War Leagues, stuff like that. So with all that in mind, my recommendation is you bring a Lava Hound, two Headhunters, and then fill it up with three Goblins. Uh, the reason for that is the Headhunters are going to be good for defending Queen Charges and trying to neutralize the heroes in uh, pretty much any type of attack. They'll come out and target the heroes right away, which can be effective. But the Lava Hound is going to be good for breaking up spam attacks because the Queen will lock on, the pups will be a huge nuisance. Um, so as long as you uh, don't have to worry about some of the uh, attacks that won't even lure the CC at all, and Lava Hound might not be as effective um, when it's just you know on hogs or miners or whatever, that aside, because that's not very common at Town Hall 13, I would say Lava Hound, two Headhunters, three Goblins is probably the best combination right now in the game, in my opinion. Uh, for all of these, let me know what you think in the comments, if you agree or disagree, because it's definitely a lot of personal preference goes into this, especially considering what base building style you have. Okay, Town Hall 12, uh, like this attack we're looking at here, uh, you're defending against Queen Charge Hybrid, that's a very powerful attack. You also see Super Witches, as we're looking at here, um, Zap Quake, Lalo, stuff like that. But once again, be sure to protect your clan castle from lightning spells because it's very popular at Town Hall 12, maybe the most popular. Uh, Town Hall 11, Town Hall 12 are definitely the top two for lightning spell usage. But um, that being said, like I said, you're defending uh, queen charges often, so I think it's important to all again have a few headhunters. I also like bringing Valkyries um, because they're fast, they can run out in front of the headhunters often, um, and they do a lot of damage, they're tanky, the poison spell's not going to kill them. They're a great way to get out there and deal with heroes, especially on a queen charge. So a uh, headhunter, uh, maybe a Valk or two, and then I like having the Ice Golem reserved just for the P.E.K.K.A. smash, the Yeti smash the Super Witch. Um, it's a good way to kind of stop a smash attack, you know, halt it for a few seconds having that Ice Golem there. So that's a great way to kind of make up for not having the Lava Hound. It's a little bit trickier with only 40 uh, space in your clan castle to also bring a Lava Hound and Headhunters. You can only bring one Headhunter. So I would say uh, you should probably, uh, in my opinion on most bases, do a 
two headhunters, maybe a Valk, uh, Ice Golem, and then fill it up with goblins and go from there. All right, let's fast forward, take a look at one more attack. Talk about Town Hall 11 now. Um, once again, I think at least one headhunter makes sense, and I would say that at any Town Hall level, even going down below Town Hall 11, one headhunter is a safe play because it can be the difference between uh, you know, an attack that might work and an attack that is going to fail because the hero gets locked onto and it pretty much neutralizes the hero, whether it's the queen, the grand warden, uh, etc. So, uh, Town Hall 11, bring the headhunter at least one or two. And um, I also like Valks once again. Reason is also we see a lot of witches used at Town Hall 11, so that can really uh, break up the skeletons from the witch very quickly and effectively. Also, I wouldn't sleep on using balloons in my clan castle either at Town Hall 11. Um, if the, especially if you have goblins and headhunters and stuff all running out quickly towards the heroes, the loons can sit back a little bit, break up golems, uh, break up, you know, a lot of the heavy hitting troops coming through for an attack. So, um, a balloon or two might not be a bad idea. The witch is also uh, decent because the poison spell is a little bit lower level at Town Hall 11, so you're able to um, have your witch survive longer than at Town Hall 12 or 13, say. Um, so, witch can also be used. You kind of have to balance it based on your base, and um, you can fill with archers or goblins uh, to fill out the remaining space. But I would say a couple headhunters, a, a Valk maybe, and then you can choose if you want to do a Witch, uh, Loons, Baby Dragon. There's a little bit more flexibility at Town Hall 11. This attack, you can see the Witches coming out. It's tough because they really don't do a lot, even with the lower level Poison spell. If the Poison is placed correctly, the Witch is less effective. So that's why it's been used less, and I'd only recommend it in certain bases, maybe at Town Hall 11. Most Town Hall levels, it's not going to be a good play to use the Witches. Um, briefly talking about Town Hall 10, Town Hall 9 and below, once again I think one headhunter, it's only six troop space, and if you have the space, if you're bringing already a small-ish type clan castle, you're not bringing a hound or a golem or anything, you can fit the headhunter, go ahead and do it. Um, I think that if it can lock onto a queen or king, it can be very effective for that six troop space investment. Now one thing is the golem is becoming potentially a good option and maybe even going back to Town Hall 11 the golem might be something to think about if you uh, if you're gonna have a queen charge coming in it can really soak up a lot of damage wasting a lot of time and the golem itself isn't too shabby at level 10 it does you know a fair amount of damage itself when it dies it blasts open does a bunch of damage plus a new thing and I didn't even know this for a while it was added in an update somewhat recently but the golem wasn't popular when it was initially updated so I didn't see it three golemites will be spawning once the golem is destroyed so typically it was two beforehand I mean always it was two and then the update made it three golemites so the golem not a bad idea for the lower town hall levels town hall 9 and 10 maybe even town hall 11 anyway those are just my thoughts um, for each of the town hall levels hope you guys uh, maybe learned a thing or two and might think about it a little bit differently. Let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to check those what your favorite clan castle troops are for each town hall level and uh, maybe you can help out some of the other viewers by giving a different opinion other than my own uh, even though my own opinion is so often correct. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoy my content, consider supporting the channel by entering my creator boost code bisect in the settings tab of your game, and keep in mind it occasionally resets and must be re-entered. Click or tap for another video and be sure to subscribe. See you all next time, Bisectatron out.